in today's video i will ex like show you how we can download the qgis okay so for this you can open any browser that can be like google chrome or firefox so here i have like in my google chrome so you need to just type qgis right then click on download window once you will be uh, on download page you can see there are couple of options like overview case study plugin all news visual challenges qgis matrix and also there is community related uh, links that you can also go through if you want and there are some resources which is like the documentation the installation guide roadmap report resources hub books contact and supports and similarly here is the option of the download and once you go with the download uh, you have the one message like the donation right because qgis is a open source so if you want you can uh, support this community by by donating some of the amount but for now i am skipping it and go to the download okay so once you will be here you can see two option for the download uh, one is like the online installer and the second is offline installer right so here i am going for the offline installer because sometime it may happen like once we download the online installer we need should have a like good network connection so that's why i'm like long term vision for windows installer i will click on it once i will click on it it will start download you can see here however it will take some time so because to uh, like uh, you can see here like it's showing in my computer it is like one minute left something like that but i already in download in my local uh, uh, folder so i will like show you how i can uh, install uh, from there okay so i just pause it here so he this is my already in uh, on downloaded uh, the msi file i will click on it okay now it is preparing for the download okay so once you click on the msf file you need to next okay so this is like the window will appear which will show you like the end user license agreement if you want you can read the license agreement okay then click on accept next okay so here is it is the like the path you can also change if you want and this is like the two of you if you want to create a desktop shortcut create a start menu shortcut i will click on next and next okay so now it is start start installing because uh it's a like a uh, little bit like huge uh software with uh, uh like around 1.23 gb it will take some time okay can you so this is like the one more step you can now this is like computing the space requirement to install it so whenever uh, it will automatically install do you have to just follow the instruction next 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 and then so it is already now uh, the status is showing like the validating the install and it will take couple of minute to uh, install it okay so we will uh, see uh, how it is going to be so we have files files are very large so that's why it's taking time so we have to wait here for some more minutes okay so once this installation done you can see uh this window the complete the qgis 3.40.6 setup done then click on finish okay now it's done then click here you can see this is like uh, already installed you need to click here now it is opening okay so it's correctly installed in uh, the computer so just wait for uh, like uh, one minute or so then it's starting it's restoring the loaded plugins and we need to wait for some couple of minutes okay so it will show you deepness package installer dialog you have to just simply uh, cancel okay test and close 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 
Close the program. Not in your computer, you have to wait setting up the GUI. So you just simply search here you can easily see like here is your so so this is the like for the cloud the project so i can create like the, the cloud project here i can give the name okay close this one wait close Now this is completely open you can go here enable all this so this is the new project it will open correctly and here is some couple of the option you can explore but this video only for the how you can install the qgis in your computer so thank you and uh, stay uh, tuned for the next video thank you so much